Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit, or um, may others of you may know me as Joshua. Um, otherwise, this is my plan to basically try and raise a thousand dollars for charity. Now, my plan was initially to, in a sense, raise a thousand dollars for charity, and um, statistically, that's not even probable. But then, the more I thought about, the more I thought, what's the difference between me doing this and just you know giving out money like like what's honestly the difference so then I thought more about like the who aspect and then what I finally came up with was why not try to find a home both figuratively and literally for people what I mean by that is oftentimes you know on social media it just in general there's kids or just you know even adults that are oftentimes alone and they feel like there's no one they can talk to, no one that they can relate to. And what I want to do is find a place where they could almost have like a safe haven where they just hang out, feel free, and almost express themselves and have a place to belong or, you know, find their own place to uh, have a home. And then there's a literal aspect where what I want to do is obviously raise money to actually help people off the streets or help people basically that are off the streets and get back into like the swing of things. So despite the statistics, despite everything that could go wrong, my idea was if I had one month to basically make the impossible reality, what could I do? That is why I decided to name this project Struggling Against Destiny. Because that's what me and my friends were basically doing. <laughs> I just decided to do everything in my room because obviously that's where I have my, uh, my recording equipment, that's where I have everything else. And I did this was um, just basically, I believe I started this like the 20th of March and then all the way down to, uh, you know, today basically. So. What I try to do was stream every day and then upload like an update video per day. I feel like the main reason I tried to do this though was just to kind of prove a point that it didn't matter if you had all the money in the world, it didn't matter who you were, it didn't matter if you had no friends. If you want a place to belong, if you truly want to help out and make a difference, if you have the determination, motivation to do so, then I can promise you. What I want to show was that if someone is determined enough to do something, they can have it. And they, they will get somewhere with it. I want to prove a point that it is okay to ask the world to do the impossible. Because a lot of people nowadays are also like, Well, I can't do that. It's too hard. I, I can't have this. It's too much money. It's always an excuse. Always an excuse holding them back. Telling them basically to hush up and forget about their goals. And honestly, it's a, it's a poisonous mentality. A famous quote by Albert Einstein said once, Normal results will give you an average outcome, but absurd results will give you an impossible outcome. And that's what I, s I decided to do. I just basically went all out and went and did stupid things, and I did get a weird outcome. <laughs> so where we live influences how we live. Now, since everyone, like, I know this was like a YouTube project, technically, you know, I was live streaming this, everyone was from different parts of the world, so I mean, it made sense that not everyone could donate. Because obviously, I don't know what family you come from, where you're, where you're living at, or how much living expenses are there in general, what you're trying to do. So that, that was rough. But in the other sense, we were also trying to find out um, the fact how we could help people that didn't even have a home. And, you know, we're living out in horrible areas. So, I mean, obviously, if someone lived in a more wealthy area um, of the U.S., for example, then they're probably more prone to donate. But, obviously, that depends depending on their situation. Most of my audience is from uh, either um, the U.S., Canada, or from Australia. So, I mean, it, it worked out pretty well, though. I feel like either way, everyone had, like, an equal uh, chance to, like, help out. Now, moving away from Unit 2, I want to kind of look back at Unit 5 about seeing how urbanization continues, that economic, environmental, and social change is basically inevitable. I didn't really want to like apply to that, but more say what you could do after, because obviously you can't really stop that. I mean, you could try to, but. So what I want to do is based on the urbanization, or based on like what the world has done to, um, by the effects of that, how um, social change has happened, how uh, the economy is, and how basically I could help out in that certain um, a fashion, and uh, what, what I had to do to, to apply to that. So looking at, uh, you know, uh, how social uh, changes happened. I looked at social media and seeing how people were doing things, what, what was popular, what was trending, and seeing if I could apply that. And um, I tried that about like three times and it worked out. It worked out definitely very well. Um, that's when I had the escalation and, uh, you know, viewers. That's when I had more people coming on and that's when we had more donations. Now this is the last one. This one I feel like is the most important. 
uh, something I very I like definitely definitely want to talk about, and it is inequality. This one definitely applies to this project for sure. It's it's probably the hardest um, to like even not even notice. But obviously, not everyone comes from the same kind of household. Not everyone has the most money, and that means since you know YouTube's like free to everyone, not everyone's going to be able to donate. What I wanted to prove was that it didn't matter where you came from, it didn't matter who you were, it didn't matter if you had no friends, it didn't matter if you had no money, it didn't matter if you were just new to the platform or if you're an expert. If you wanted to do something, if you wanted to make change, I wanted you to know that you had the power, the power to do something, the power that, hey, I can actually be my own human being and make a difference. If I want to make the impossible happen, then I can do something. Because I said it in the beginning. There's this poisonous mentality that everyone thinks that they can't do, that things are too hard, that someone's going to come around and, you know, save them. And I feel like it's shattering who people are. Not the fact that, you know, it's nice to hope, because faith is a powerful thing. But if people want something, then I, I feel like they need to be able to have the courage, stand up and go chase their dreams, go chase what they want. And that, that's what's going to make the world a better place. That's what's going to make it stronger. I mean, like, not just for the economy, because, you know, people are going to be working harder, but also just in general for your health, because, I mean... Plenty of Americans are just dying due to stress, I mean, I swear. So, here's what happened. Basically, throughout the uh, nights, I literally, I remember nights where I stayed up all night and I only got like two hours of sleep. Um, I mean, don't get wrong, I don't get much sleep in general because I'm like how much I'm always working. But I mean, like this video in general, I like, I literally stayed up all the way from, uh, from 12 live streaming for this night and then I woke up uh, again at 3 and then I made this video. So, when you're seeing this, I mean, I, I've been up, I'm... <laughs> So basically, we uh, I kept working and I had friends constantly like, hey, what can you do? And they're like, oh, I, I got this many people. I got. I told my friends I went to this server and it's like, okay. And honestly, every single day I was working, working, working. When I was at school, um, when I wasn't doing something, I was working. When I was um, even at lunch, like you know, I was sitting at my uh, my table. I would just be on my computer, like, what can I do to help out? What can I do to keep working on this? Because I mean, this was something that was one helping me. One thing I was passionate about, and two, it was actually helping the community in general. Even though you're probably never going to apply, it's okay. We're just going to learn about it. this. We can actually apply what we learned, what we knew, and actually help the world for the better. Do what school's supposed to make you do. And after countless hours of working, countless hours of being told, oh, you're probably not going to be able to do this. You're going to probably fail. Me and my friends came together. We made this happen. Or we tried to. Now, we did not reach our goal, sadly. Um, we didn't reach $1,000. Um, it was just a few, you know, of my friends in real life actually helping out. Uh, one person that wasn't even our, our group that decided to help out, and that was an amazing event. Uh, I kind of like a shout out to them right now. Um, Carl's helped out. He can't be in this video because, you know, it's, it's like free and right now. And then also uh, Trey Miller. Um, he's not part of our group, but he was, he was amazing for coming over and trying to help out with the stream, so thank you so much. But we did not get that money because, honestly, it, it was hard for me to um, basically alone kind of like do all these streams sometimes. Um, everyone else was kind of busy all the time, and... As well as the fact that my audience is on and off uh, as well because they also are having finals right now. So um, it was kind of stressful, but I would not say we failed. I would not say that at all. But we did not fail. All in all, in views in general, we got about 3,050. And I mean, that that's pretty crazy. And the thing was, every single time we did that, I feel like we made someone happy. I feel like we actually inspired people. And the thing was, when we did these streams, it wasn't just us, you know, oh, let's let's raise some money. We were getting together. We're actually problem solving. We're finding a way to actually, you know, inspire each other. And I felt like it wasn't just trying to get from point A to point B. It was seeing what you were passionate about, what someone like you could do, what you felt like inside you, what, what you love to do, how you could apply that to help everyone else. And the thing was, with everyone else helping, like, doing that, it spread like wildfire. And, I mean, we may not have gotten all the money, because, you know, it's it's not an equal world. Not everyone can donate that, and that's fine. But the thing was, if people could actually understand that they can do something, that they can make a change, then everyone spread that like wildfire. And if I had to, you know, stay up all night doing that, which I did before, plenty of nights if I have to keep making videos when you know I, I probably have barely any time to even study for a test tomorrow then you know what so be it but in the end I made this goal happen uh, me and my friends I'm I'm proud to say that we accomplished a goal that was near impossible 
and you know what uh, statistically we weren't supposed to even get ten dollars but nonetheless we still got 25 percent of our goal and i'm proud of that because you can raise all the money you want but the end money doesn't mean squat all that matters is what will last forever and these memories will hope you guys enjoyed that even though despite the odds despite everything else even though having one month to do this we still in a sense failed I don't care who you are or what you think. We struggled against Destiny. And despite Destiny telling us, no, we can't do this, we shouldn't be able to, we basically spit in their face and said, watch me. Thank you all for watching, and as always, smile, keep your head up, and my name is Blue Jit, signing out. Bye, guys.